Welcome to Engineering, Day 1, The Introduction. I am Bach. I'm 36 years old. I have a bachelor's degree in education, a master's degree in education, and I'm just finishing up my PhD in education. Now you'll notice there's no Mr. in front of my name. I ask that you don't call me Mr. Bach. Mr. Bach is my father. I'm just Bach, like Madonna or Chingy. Sooner or later, sometime this year, I'll become Dr. Bach when I defend my dissertation. At that point, I'll be Dr. Bach, because let's be honest, that sounds awesome. I'm 36 years old, not married, no kids. I have two parents, a mother and a father, that live two blocks away from me. I have a sister who's nine years younger than me. Her name's Marina, and she's currently getting her master's degree in education in Philadelphia. I have three dogs named Mo, Max, and Frank. They're horribly behaved, awful, smelly mutts, and I love them to death. I also have a 32-year-old turtle named E.T. She's not very exciting. We can't play fetch or anything, but she's been with me for a good long time. One of my hobbies is cultivating palm trees. It's an amazingly boring hobby, but I do like it, and I have about nine palm trees. I'm very sarcastic. I like to joke around all the time. I'm really into comic books and various forms of geekery, because being a geek is amazingly cool. I believe in education, and I'm going to work you incredibly hard in this class. You're going to enjoy every second of it, and most likely, you'll regard me as one of the best teachers you've ever had. I don't say that to brag. I say that because I work incredibly hard at being one of the best teachers you've ever had. The interesting thing about this field engineering, the class that you're taking, is that it's not just a class. Engineering is the poetry of human existence. Everything that you've seen, touched, thought about, bought, purchased, almost all of it has been engineered, thought of by some person, designed by some person, built by some person, tested by some person. Everything about the human existence right now, the human story, is engineered. And the amazing thing is, if you choose to, you have the opportunity to contribute a verse to the poetry of human existence. We don't read and write poetry because it's cute. We read and write poetry because we are members of the human race. And the human race is filled with passion. Medicine, law, business, engineering, these are noble pursuits and necessary to sustain life. But poetry, beauty, romance, love, these are what we stay alive for. Whitman, O me, O life of the questions of these recurring, of the endless trains of the faithless, of cities filled with the foolish. What good amid these, O me, O life? Answer that you are here, that life exists, and identity. That the powerful play goes on, and you may contribute a verse. Powerful play goes on, and you may contribute a verse. What will your verse be? That's an excellent question. What will your verse be? I guess we're going to have to wait for the next class to find out. See you tomorrow.